everyone welcome to my new video on how to optimize your laptop or computer so I'm just going to teach you how to make it faster so it runs faster for generally when you're doing things and you're not even using that program so just just to do that just follow my steps and it should be pretty easy it is a pretty simple process and some people need the knowledge but I'm sure most of you know how to do it out there so let's start. Um, step one. On your keyboard, all at the same time, press Ctrl, Alt, and Delete. It should pop up with a menu and just and go ahead and hit Start Task Manager. Okay, now a screen like this should pop up. And on Windows XP, it should probably normally just instantly come. So this is a Windows 7, so it's kind of different. Sorry for the um, frozen screen, it's just my recording, that was a bit weird. So here we go, as we can see, um, we can see our CPU usage here. Um, on Windows it is pretty high, that's your main operating system doing this, so you do not want to end the Windows process because you'll just do something stupid, okay? <laughs> so. Um, you just got to find things that you don't use. So, for an example, let's find it. Um, it's moving a bit, isn't it? Um, Spotify. Where would that go? <laughs> find Spotify Web Help. Ah, oh, and this is difficult, isn't it? Stop moving. Okay. Um, yeah. Anything that's not related to Windows, just just go ahead and press in process. So um, let's just do an example for one, Spotify, yes I caught it, press end process and just continue and press end process. So this is what mainly s slows down your computer, is heaps of processes just jamming up your computer. So to end this, when you're doing something else like on Chrome or Microsoft Word and your computer just seems so slow, this is what you can do, just press Control or delete and delete a process. So that's my first kind of bit on optimizing a computer um, I'll show you the second bit which is the disk defragment and disk cleaning and I'll show you a very very useful app that you can use okay now for the second bit um, it's pretty simple as well so should be no problems so first off just go in the corner and just press start and go across here find the control panel and okay oh crap that was something weird there okay so it should look like this on a Windows 7 but if it's not then just go here across here view by and if it was like large icons or small icons whatever click category then it should come up with this so um just locate system and security click on that okay now just find administrative tools down here okay so it says free up disk space and defragment your hard drive so both of these are very very useful apps or kind of tools on the computer and it helps up to whatever it says there free up disk space and defrags defragment is kind of a it puts your files together and the source out so it's easier to read for your computer so um, we'll just go ahead and do this first, free up disk space, it's pretty easy, you just press OK and you just let it do its thing basically, so it just says scanning, system error, um, memory dump file, so it cleans up and gives you kind of more free space, yeah. So I won't do this um, probably now, um, it takes usually about at most half an hour or so, so yeah. The fragment takes a bit longer, so you should probably do it overnight, or yeah, just something like that. Um, you find your main hard drive, C drive, usually it is. So um, no one's pick a bell, and you just go ahead and go defragment disk. So it should easily just go analyzing the thing, and it will defrag. So it's it's pretty easy and it's still just let it do its thing and yeah so both of those um, really help your computer a lot so I really recommend to do those 
Um, as you can see here on my desktop, I've got a very, very useful application. I really recommend you to get it. Um, I use it quite regularly, and yeah. So I'll just, uh, oh yeah, I'll give you a link on the bottom of the description if you want to download it. So just go ahead and click the link, and I'll just teach you quickly how to use it. Okay, just open it up and then as you can see here we've got the cleaner so just first off just tap run cleaner this process will permanently delete files from your system that's okay don't worry it's nothing bad and again just let it do its thing and it will clean everything like temporary internet files, history, cookies, windows explorer from the system things that you don't need and it's fairly quick so the first time it might take a while but since I've done it quite regularly it, it's pretty good so as you can see here it removes quite a fair chunk so yeah also remember to use the registry cleaner um, it just it's a in the kind of a system thing that cleans your registry um, I'm not really master in registry so I'm not some text but <laughs> I don't really understand that much but yeah so it's really just a thing you should do you know it cleans it up quite quickly as well so once that's done um, might take a while let's do the thing okay so just go fix selected issues as these are selected here and no don't want to create a backup and then you just go fix all selected issues and it's done as you can see here or gone so I yeah it, it's, it's a recommended app okay so that's basically it for optimization for your computer to make it a bit faster you know so Thanks for watching and subscribe or give me a like and I'll appreciate it very much. Cheers guys. Bye.